Hello everybody, we're here with Razor at their North American headquarters and I'm with Vincent Chan and uh, we're super excited to be showing off some of their great gaming devices. Um, Vincent, maybe you could introduce yourself and the devices we're going to be showing off today. Sure. Uh, I'm Vincent, as Mike mentioned. I handle the uh, Blade product line. Specifically, I'm a product marketing manager for our systems team. And yeah, we're here to showcase our gaming laptop lineup here today. Um, and so, as you can see, we have uh, two flavors for you guys. We got the 14-inch Razer Blade and we have the 17-inch Razer Blade Pro. Uh, so I'll just start off with our smaller guy here. Um, so the 14-inch Razer Blade uh, has been uh, one of our most well-known uh, gaming laptops uh, for quite uh, so many years now. And this guy is built for those gamers on the go. So, you know, students traveling through classes or if you just want to, uh, you know, you're always traveling, but, uh, you know, you still want a powerful gaming system that's very portable. Uh, this is really the guy for you. So. Uh, what you guys see here is the 14-inch uh, model with the Full HD matte display. Uh, we also have another option for 4K touch display. So if you really value a high-resolution display, not just for gaming, but also for you know, creating content or watching 4K media, uh, you know, Netflix at 4K resolutions, um, definitely we have a, a resolution size for a resolution option for those guys as well. 4K is amazing uh, yeah. on these devices as well, especially on a 14-inch screen. That's just phenomenal. Um, one of the things that you mentioned too is thin and light, yes. um, which I think is, is awesome. I, tell us a little bit about the chassis in this device and how you're able to achieve that thinness. Yeah, of course. So we use a CNC milled aluminum uh, design for our, our razor blade and pretty much all of our products here. And uh, it's a very durable and light design, so we are able to achieve a really sleek, slim, feel, premium feel for the laptop, uh, very durable, uh, but we still manage to pack a lot of power into this chassis. So um, it's, a, again, like I mentioned, it's great for those who really value portability, um, but still want that performance, uh, like gaming laptop performance, so they can play anywhere they want to go. Uh -huh. um, and speaking of performance, uh, this guy is rocking a GTX 1060 uh, NVIDIA graphics card in it. So, uh, definitely capable of playing most AAA game titles today. Uh, if you also are into VR, it's also VR ready. So it's a really great mobile VR station if, if you're into that kind of thing, right? We got 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, uh, up to one terabyte uh, SSD storage options uh, for both the uh, Full HD and 4K model. And of course we have a plethora of ports on the sides if you guys want to take a look. You got the HDMI port on the side here, USB and as well as USB-C Thunderbolt 3. So this is a Thunderbolt 3 certified product as well. Uh, compatible with the core, the Razer core, which we will get more detailed into in another video. And then of course on the other side here we have two more USB ports and the audio jack and the power, power, uh, power plug here. So very thin light system, uh, plenty of performance. It's rocking a killer uh, AC Wi-Fi. Uh, connection type as well, so really great for uh, wireless gaming if you if you need that. And um, yeah, that's a uh, really our 14 inch in a nutshell. Let's talk a little bit more about the screen options yeah. too. But well, before we do, I just wanted to hold this up to the camera so we can see how thin that thing is. I mean, it is for a gaming laptop with that kind of power. It's amazing, oh, and yeah. I, I actually carry one of these for work myself. Um, and I get a lot of looks because you know everybody's like, "Wow, you got a gaming laptop and it's that thin. It's amazing." Uh, but the other features I really like on it too is that the touchpad on this is really low friction. I mean, it's phenomenal to use for a work environment. I mean, it's it's oh, just yeah. a phenomenal touchpad. So we maybe we can touch on that some more. Um, sure. As well, so tell us a little bit about the touchpad. That you yeah, guys yeah, are yeah. Using. It's a it's it's a, a synaptic touchpad, but a lot of people do love it. Just because, as you mentioned, it's got a really nice glass feel to it. You know, uh, very smooth. And then we have the two physical buttons at the front as well. A lot of people still love, especially gamers. They still like having that physical button. Uh, if if they're you know if you happen to be gaming directly on the laptop itself, you know, especially when you're traveling, like you could be playing some more you know maybe casual games. But uh, it's great still for for those guys for that feedback. On, on the two uh, physical buttons as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great feeling trackpad, seriously. If, yeah. you, if you haven't tried one of these, I mean, they're, they're just phenomenal to use. Um, the other thing that uh, that I find is phenomenal with these devices, you guys actually, as, as a gaming company, 
you, know, you guys could go in all kinds of directions with your laptops, but one of the things you guys do is you actually support the hero features of Windows 10 in a very unique way that others don't in mm -hmm. the marketplace. And I think it, we really need to talk about those. So there's two things you guys do that are phenomenal. You support Cortana uh, fully, and it's fully certified on your, on your laptops. And then the other thing you do is you actually support touchscreen. And I find myself using uh, the touchscreen a lot, especially if I'm in mm -hmm. a closed environment like an airplane. I use the touchscreen a lot. Yeah. So that's, those are phenomenal features. So why did you guys decide to go in those directions, and what was the motivation no, we, for you? I mean, we, we, we know there's an audience for those who value, you know, like, again, full HD is for uh, those who really opt, like, want optimal gaming, right? And then we have the 4K option with the touch, as you mentioned, uh, for those uh, that really valued not only just the high-resolution display, but having that touchscreen feature uh, allows for more productivity on the go, I would say, because you know if you're if you have multiple tabs going and you're viewing like a work document or you want to switch between like work document or some streaming service, you're watching some movies or media. Um, it's great to easily instead of using the touchpad. You know, some people, like you mentioned, once they get used to that touchscreen uh, display, it, it's it, that pretty much becomes second nature to them. Yeah, yeah, and it makes things a lot more smoother, a lot more streamlined for their on the go experience. Yeah, I think for productivity, you're right. It's absolutely natural um, to use the touch screen and I, I find myself using it a lot. Like I said, especially when, if I'm traveling mm -hmm. you know, on an airplane, I use the touch screen a lot. So that's yeah. an amazing feature. So, yeah. so uh, as you guys can see here, we have a couple of effects going on right now. This is the starlight effect on the, Chrome, uh, on the keyboard and on the Razer Blade. We have uh, pl plenty of effects and uh, uh, customization options. Uh, that you can do to the blade and any of our other uh, razor blade notebooks. Um, but this is just a great example to show, show you guys. Like this is per key lighting. Uh, we have some of the best per key lighting uh, technology uh, in the industry. And this, is, it, this allows you to pretty much customize over 16.8 million different color combinations and effects uh, through our Chroma, uh, uh, Chroma app, right? We also have razor synapse that you go into. That's where you kind of will tweak uh, any of your settings and you can really macro and uh, program the keys to specific programs or games, any other applications that you want to run on. So if let's say you turn on League of Legends, you can have all your settings that uh, will automatically switch over to the League of Legends settings that you personalize for yourself. So you can easily you know, manage all your abilities and skills. And then of course you switch over to something like Adobe Photoshop or Premiere, then you have your own settings for that. Um, makes your uh, workflow more streamlined and efficient. So not only is it a great uh, color kind of personalization sort of uh, uh, take you know, on the keyboard, but you can do a lot more with it just to improve your workflow as well. So, sure. and the keyboard itself, uh, a lot of people do love this keyboard and we've gotten plenty of press and just fan feedback that um, they love the keyboard on the blades. And uh, this is a membrane keyboard, but it's got great uh, tactile feel and uh, as well as feedback uh, for a membrane keyboard. Uh, so yeah, this guy here, uh, as you can clearly see, there's a big size difference. This is our best of the best high end uh, you want the top end specs kind of deal with our product lineup. Uh, so this is the Razer Blade Pro 17 inch display. Uh, we got some really great options here for you guys for the 17 inch Blade Pro. Uh, so the one you see here right in, right in front of us is the 4K model. Uh, not only is it a 4K display, it's also touch enabled and as well has G-Sync capabilities. So you got that smooth wow. gaming experience, you know, at high resolutions. Like this is pretty much everything you need in a high-end gaming machine, right? Um, we also just recently came out with the Full HD model, which has a 120 hertz display, a similar matte display like the Blade. Um, so it's great, it's optimal for gaming, and you have the high refresh rate, so you have little to no uh, uh, lag or, or uh, uh, and high response times for, for a game, great gaming experience. Um, so that was a great uh, addition uh, to, to the Blade Pro lineup. Um, so we also, same, similar to the Blade, you have two flavors, right? You want that uh, optimal gaming experience with the Full HD model, or you want the high-end uh, stunning visual experience with the 4K model. Um, and of course, going to specs, uh, starting with the full HD model, you have the 1060, uh, it has a GTX 1060 uh, graphics card, and then the 4K model here has a 1080. Which so, is amazing to have a 1080 and oh, a yeah, laptop, it's absolutely. phenomenal. Yeah, to push, uh, push that much power, especially on a 4K uh, gaming machine like this with G-Sync, it's, it's a great experience, right? With T the, with tell me a little bit about that, because I mean, you, you have a 1080 in here, I mean, and you can see with this unit too, I mean, it's super thin for a 17-inch, I mean, it's oh, crazy yeah. thin, right? Yeah. And so, 
What do you guys do for heat and thermals? I, like, I know you, your engineers are just phenomenal. So tell us a little bit about how you manage the thermals. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. So we use a uh, technology called vapor chamber cooling technology. Uh, so this really, it's, it's really advanced thermal technology. And that's how we're able to pack so much power into such a thin uh, design, right? Especially with something running a GTX 1080 in, in, in this size of a form factor and, and chassis. So um, yeah, the vapor chamber allows a very efficient cooling, uh, dissipates heat really efficiently as well. Um, and of course, uh, that, that's what really drives and allows for all that power to be, uh, all the heat from that power to be dissipated, right? We also have, not only on top of the GTX 1080, we also have an overclock processor in the 1080 model, the 7820 uh, HK processor. Um, on the 1060 model, we have the 7700 HQ uh, processor, similar to the Blade. You could pretty much think of the Full HD model of the Blade Pro like a big brother of the 14-inch uh, Blade. Okay. So that to help you guys better understand like where we are with that model. Another key difference between these two, uh, you know, we just talked about Chroma keyboard. Uh, Chroma keyboard on the Blade, uh, as you can see, there's it's a much uh, robust layout. You got the trackpad to the right side, uh, the keyboard to to the left has that kind of desktop kind of resemblance. We have the keyboard and mouse to the side, so kind of a natural feeling to that once you get used to it, and. The keyboard itself is using actually low profile mechanical switches. So this is this was at the time when we launched it, the world's first ultra low profile mechanical switches. It has the same similar tactile feeling as a mechanical keyboard on a desktop. Um, you have that nice, nice pop and and uh, feedback. And so it has it, it's it's a very, very unique experience on the blade. So it adds a little bit more uh, of that desktop. Kind of feeling too. Yeah, and I know how important that is. I mean, uh, as a gamer myself, I love mechanical keyboards. I mean, yes. you just, uh, you know, having that feedback and having it on a laptop is just completely amazing. Yeah, yeah, especially on a system of this 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 caliber, you gotta, for that full desktop replacement experience, you know, this is, this is what it's really meant for, right? Um, so as I mentioned, the, the trackpad here also, we, you know, when we're talking about a trackpad on a blade, uh, s great similar, uh, glass trackpad that you have here and you can of course uh, customize it individually like you can with all the other keys. Um, great feedback on the swell but doesn't have the physical buttons but it's still great, uh, a great experience on that. And uh, going back into more of the specs and the systems, uh, the 4K model goes up to 32 gigs of memory. So you got high end, uh, pretty much like, like mentioned, high end specs on the Blade Pro. And then you have up to two terabytes of solid state storage for this model too. So let's let's talk about the memory for a second. Yeah. You you mentioned it, uh, it. You can go up to 32 gig. Now, if I configure this with less, I, I understand I can actually upgrade that myself later on. Is that correct? So that is for the full HD model, the 1060 version, the big brother of okay. the 14 inch. That model, you are able to actually upgrade the memory and storage. That okay. one has slotted memory. Uh, this one, you know, it's it's kind of built into the system. But if you do go the the full HD route, you can actually upgrade it. Um, like if you want more than 16 gigs of memory, okay. then you can actually upgrade it on your own. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's, it's user accessible. Exactly. And phenomenal. That, and the 40, uh, Full HD model offers two different storage types, whereas this one has just SSDs. That one has options for a, a 256 SSD and a two terabyte hard drive. And you can upgrade that as well if you want to. So two, kind of a hybrid storage, right? Oh. Uh, for one high capacity, one SSD for faster. No, I think it's a great feature yeah. because the challenge I have as a gamer is I have to pick and choose what games on a laptop I install. Right. Because exactly. I never have the storage capabilities. Yeah. I have to make, there's no compromises for me mm. on that machine. I can basically configure the storage I need and I can install the games I want exactly. on the go. And that's phenomenal. Exactly. Actually, that's a really great feature. So uh, I also understand the audio and this is phenomenal. So tell me a little bit about the audio. Yeah. So um, this model, the 4K model specifically, it was also, is also the first uh, laptop to be THX certified. So uh the screen and the audio uh kind of tying into together the the audio jack is actually certified by thx meaning it actually uh outputs much uh clearer signals so uh rather than you know your standard standard audio jack so if you want a, the best listening experience for your your headset or earbuds um we have that thx certified and of course the display with thx certification allows you to calibrate the display to uh, for your needs, so especially for content creators, developers, uh, any anyone in that creative space, uh, will really value that 
uh, option to calibrate display to their liking. Uh, so that's that's the kind of benefits there. And of course, audio uh, speakers themselves, uh, great too, great design. Um, we have a forward facing, you know, so you actually get the full brunt of all the audio coming towards you. You know, a lot of other uh, manufacturers out there, a lot of times their their audio is usually located on the sides or maybe a place in, kind of in the corners. But um, with the design of the Blade laptops, having it front facing allows you to experience more of the audio from your movies and gaming experience. So um, we've we've also always gotten great feedback on where. Uh, how we've designed the overall layout of the keyboard and speakers on, on the Blades. The Blade has a plenty of ports for the user, especially for content creators as well. We have a HDMI port, a USB port, and USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port as well. And this slot here is an SD card slot. And on the side here, this little slit is actually another speaker uh, output. So uh, when I mentioned earlier, we had the uh, front facing speakers on top here. We actually have side firing speakers uh, on, on the sides as well. So these are kind of like dual firing speaker setup, right? Uh, so you have both audio from front facing as well as from the side. Um, and then on the right here, we have the audio jack, the THX certified audio jack. We have the two USB 3.0 ports. And then we also have the Ethernet port here for those who love wired gaming and of course the, the power jack here. So Vincent, tell me about the opening price points and where we can buy these devices. Yeah, sure. So the Blade 14 inch starts at $18.99 and the Blade Pro 17 inch starts at $22.99. And you can actually find uh, this entire lineup here at Microsoft stores where you can get hands-on with both of these. And of course available at other retailers and online as well. So you can uh, take your pick and take a look. Awesome, well thank you so much for for having us here and uh, we appreciate everybody here for watching.